Hello out there everyone. Um, it's Christmas Eve and it's also my first Christmas um, not being married and with a family. So I thought I would come on here and say that I wish you a Merry Christmas. I have some merry matches here because I'm gonna light a candle. Um, because, well, some warmth would be welcome. So, I have here a peppermint chocolate, I think, candle. And it's got two wicks in it, which I found um, prophetic um, and fitting. So, <laughs> that's why I bought it. Marketing, you know, marketing. <laughs> there. I wanted to do this um, to let you know that um, it, it, this time of year is hard um, for those of us who find ourselves having this type of a, an awakening journey um, because, well, you know, a lot of times um, that other person over there kind of, well, they can't be with us physically and we can't be with them physically and we have to, you know, get through on our own. So that's what kind of inspired me to, to do this at all. Because uh, I was, I was feeling a little bit you know, run down, that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, I thought, wait a minute, that's no way to feel. We're supposed to be happy at this time of year, no matter what's going on with that other person over there. Um, we are still supposed to live our best lives, no matter what. That's the energy to be in, rather than, you know, feeling badly and you know lonely and wanting to reach out perhaps and that sort of thing i know in my case it's particularly tricky because um my person's birthday is actually the 23rd he just had his birthday yesterday and it is always Kind of doubly difficult at this time of year for that reason. Um, yeah, it's hard to have a Capricorn Christmas baby along with Christmas time, you know. Um, but uh, I know that things are the way they are for a reason, and I can do nothing to change those things uh, that are in place or anything so you know i said happy birthday to him and you know he was gracious and thanked me for saying that and that's very very nice so anyway uh i just wanted to say please do your best to feel good and do things for yourself that are that are comforting, that are nurturing, that are um, conducive to your inner peace. Um, being quiet, meditating. Uh, in my case, you know, doing a bit of embroidery probably later. Uh, just, just, you know doing what you need to do to feel as calm and peaceful and uh, higher, you know, vibration than feeling down and upset and angry and frustrated perhaps by the situation, you know, it's best to not let yourself go there. So as soon as I started feeling that way myself, I thought, hmm, there's probably other people out there who are 
feeling the same way, if not much worse than me. So I just wanted to let you know that I am thinking about that. I'm thinking about you. Uh, I'm thinking about the fact that a lot of us are in, you know, separation and in karmic, you know, situations and that other person over there is having a karmic Christmas, you know, and, you know, that's all right. We can do what we need to do to uh, keep ourselves happy and carry on as though it's just any other day. Uh, so that, I think, is what I have for right now. It was nice to see you. I hope you're well. I really, really do. You have my love and support. I will see you in the next video.